Oh, Scotty, you called this one last week. Yes, it was inevitable. Alan Houston, his commitment was never in question. He tried to come back from his chronic knee ailments for two years, but there comes a time to call it quits. And this is that time. I did everything that I possibly could to uh, to get back and to finish my career the way I would have liked to. Um, but you know, my injuries just uh, uh, wouldn't allow me to do it. Knicks president Isaiah Thomas said a few weeks ago that he would give Allen Houston all the time he needed to determine his future with the club because he had earned it. There's not one day that went by that Allen Houston didn't try to get back to his original form. Houston was a main cog in the Knicks wheel for six of the nine years he was here. The two-time All-Star ranks number four on the Knicks all-time scoring list. He helped lead them to the NBA Finals in 1999, but his chronic knee ailments would not go away. I didn't see any pain. I just wanted to get back out there. And now, it just, it became more of a reality to me. But this is what it is. We're all extremely blessed to have known the player, but we're extremely fortunate and blessed to know the man. Some may have questioned his worth at times during his days as a Knickerbocker, but no one ever questioned his character. Alan Houston still plans to be part of the Knicks organization. We'll be back in 60 seconds. Getting married. The trade with the Florida Marlins, the 33-year-old Delgado is one of the most potent sluggers in baseball today. He's averaged more than 30 home runs per season for the past nine years. Here's a proposed agreement. Delgado comes to the Mets along with $7 million to offset his salary. In return, the Mets give up Mike Jacobs along with pitching prospect Yusmero Petit. Here's Mets manager Willie Randolph on Delgado. He's one of the best players in the game. I mean, any manager would love to have a guy like that, man. You know, he's tremendous. Indeed. NBA hoops. The Knicks in Charlotte tonight. To Predictable. <laughs> Shall we? Predictable sees Seahawks 20. Hole in one in golf. How did you do it? Huh? How did you do it? I don't know. That, the, the predictable had everything yeah. to do with it. It's a big day for the Mets in a couple of ways. First, the Amazons have reached a preliminary agreement with the premier free agent closer, Billy Wagner. Wagner will get $43 million over the next four years. But that's not all. The Amazons introduced their newest slugger today. Marvell Scott has that story. Carlos, welcome to New York. Donning a number 21 jersey honoring his favorite childhood player, Roberto Clemente, Carlos Delgado is finally a New York Met for the next three seasons. I think we got, a, we got great talent here and uh, people are excited. I can feel the buzz. So it's going to be cool. He understands the game. He wants to get better at the game. And he's not, he's not just a, a, a raw talent. He's a thinking man's player. Delgado is a bona fide power hitting first baseman. 33 homers, 115 RBIs last year, anticipated to be the big bat the Mets need. Uh, that offensive production is going to help uh, the guys that hit before him and it's going to help the guys that hit after him. Carlos Delgado has expressed strong anti war sentiments by protesting the singing of God Bless America during last year's games. Today, he addressed exactly how he plans to handle that issue for the upcoming season. Obviously, I, uh, I have my beliefs, but I'm not going to make a, I'm not going to make a huge deal out of it. I'm not going to cause any distractions. I just came here to play ball. In Flushing, Marvell Scott, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Carlos says he will stand. It's going back is three years, four, maybe <laughs> two point five seven. <laughs> no, we don't last very long because of the poundings we take. And yet somehow in his ninth season at the age of 30, Giants running back Tiki Barber is having his best year ever. His whole career, he's been all about beating the odds. Um, and when you tell Tiki he can't do something, it makes him want it even more. There's been a few that have good, had good careers after 30. Curtis Morton had led the league in rushing last year. Unfortunately, uh, he hit that breakdown point, which is invariably going to happen to me, but uh, it hasn't happened yet. Seems like when everyone else is tired, he continues to have the energy to, to keep those legs moving to gain more yards and make plays. What a run by Tiki! That same drive that kicks in late in the game has carried Barber late in his career. That's good living, <laughs> I think. I don't have a ton of wear and tear on me. My first few years in this league, I didn't do anything. Touchdown, Tiki Barber! 
In his first three seasons, Barber was primarily a third down back and a kick returner. During that time, he averaged 312 yards rushing per season. Are you better as a running back now? I'm more patient now. My career has been um, as long as it has is because I've been reinvented so many times over my career. I keep getting better because of it. And the chant of Tiki showering down the Giants' all-time leading rusher. As the burden to carry the Giants has grown greater, Barber has strengthened himself to bear it. He's playing at 206 pounds, the heaviest of his career. I started powerlifting, and I got a lot stronger, a lot thicker, especially in my lower body. Uh, so it's muscle mass. Even though I don't look as big as I am, I've been able to stay healthy. Um, I, don't, I don't go into games with Knicks. Uh, it's been amazing. He's in phenomenal shape. He works extremely hard in the offseason to get um, you know, to get the power and get his strength up and, and uh, able to maintain it through the season. So he works extremely hard at what he does. Touchdown, Tiki Barber! A miraculous touchdown run! He has done more than just maintain. Barber's career yards, broken down month by month, show that he accelerates through a season. He's a finisher. <laughs> He's a closer. There's no explanation for that other than the guy's clutch. And, um, you know, people say it a lot about other players. You know, Tom Brady, clutch player. Derek Jeter, clutch. You know, Mariano Rivera, clutch guy. And Tiki Barber is right there. I learned early in my career that the games at the end of the season count more than the games at the beginning. They set you up early, but the ones that matter are the games in December. Uh, he's been great. Thank you, Garbs. Thank you for 1,998 yards from scrimmage, which is 258 more than Sean Alexander. I mean, mm. look, mm. there are several players, and you can say this every year, but really four, five, six uh, players who make a strong case for MVP. Mike, let's start with Tiki. We just saw the piece of it. face? Well, we now know it'll be former Giants offensive coordinator John Fox and his 11 and 5 Carolina Panthers. And it'll sound like this Giants and Panthers Sunday at 1 o'clock here at the Meadowlands. Here's why the Giants are in. They played out in Oakland last night. And